Moving on to the next slide here, folks, is this is this, what from our experience, we have a three-step estate planning process that my office uses. And the three-step process is number one, we meet with the client to figure out what your dream snapshot is. After we learn what your dream snapshot is from you, you help us learn that about you and your family and confidence. And then we teach you about estate planning and elder law. We work together to design your will, your trust, your disability documents. We design your estate plan according to your dream snapshot. So that's step one in the process. And then you come in and you sign your will, your trust, your power of attorney, your healthcare proxy, and those other very important disability documents, okay? But that's just step one, because if we stop right there, then we have that 18.2 year legacy study going on, okay? You could, you could have a great trust, like the woman who came into my office uh, that was mentioned a moment ago, she had a great looking trust from 15 years ago. She had a trust portfolio, book and everything. But when I started asking her questions about her estate plan, none of her assets were ever funded into her trust. And which that, what that means is when her and her husband passed away, everything was going off to the probate court for them. And she was not aware of that. So I'm very happy that a friend of mine who was a CPA uh, sent them in here to talk to me. So there's a lot of folks walking around out there who do, who do not have funded trust. So second part of our process here, folks, is trust funding. And after we created trust for a client, we work closely with the client, we work closely with you to legally transfer all your assets into your treasure chest to get all the assets in there. And that's where all the magic happens once the trust funding process is completed, okay? And that gets all the assets into the treasure chest, okay? And then the third step in our process is annual reviews. Really, really important that we meet with our clients and stay in front of them and they report to us if they have questions, concerns, things of that nature because we want to be able to address their concerns and answer their questions and so forth. So we put together a program called a client care program where clients can become members of the client care program and get in front of us and do annual reviews once a year. Or if they have issues going on in their life during that year period, we want them to call the office without the meter running every time. Because we found out in the estate planning industry is Someone can have a great estate plan and even fund it, but as they go through life, if they, if they don't keep it updated, it's going to be like poor Paul's plan in the example we used. Eventually, it's going to become outdated due to those three L's, changes in law, changes in life, and even changes in learning in the industry, okay?